Welcome back to this chapter 2 video tutorial in learning Microsoft Excel Visual Basic for Application Basic to Advanced video series. In this chapter, we are going to cover these five topics which are recording macro, use of relative reference, running the recorded macro, editing the macro and assigning macros to buttons and toolbar. As I told you in the first chapter, macro is a set of instruction that is used for automating the repetitive task and the macro can be created by two methods one is by recording and another one is by manually typing the code click on the developer tab and here in the code group you can see record macro button when you put the pointer here you can see about the macro each of the command you perform will be saved into the macro so that you can play them back again so the use of this is to record each and every action that we do in Excel that will be recorded as a programming language and we can play the recorded action again which performs the same action with just one click. For that let me go here in the sheet number 2 and here I'll show you the basic example of recording macro. To start recording the macro just click on this record macro button then here a record macro window will open in this you can set up the name of the macro for example if you are creating a reporting format in excel then you can put the name is create report format or you can put here any other name i'll put here a name that is a b c just for example and here in the shortcut key you can assign the shortcut key to play the macro or to run the macro but while assigning the shortcut key you should not assign the key that is already preserved in excel for example the shortcut keys like ctrl c ctrl x ctrl v ctrl plus shift plus l these are the examples of shortcut keys that is already assigned for some other work so you have to choose that shortcut that is not already used in excel but this is optional if you don't want to put any shortcut then you can leave this here let me assign a shortcut key for that click on this box now press shift plus q in the keyboard now the control plus shift plus q is assigned for this abc macro then here you have another option that is store macro in and it is given as this workbook if you click on this drop down you see personal macro workbook new workbook and this workbook option if you choose this workbook option the recorded macro can be used in this workbook only if you take this personal macro option then you can use this macro for any other workbook that is in your computer if you select this new workbook option the macro can be used in the newly opened workbook here let me take this workbook option and in the description you can put the description of the macro like you can write here what does this macro do for example here I am giving test macro this is also optional you can leave this if you want now click on ok when you click ok here you see the button change to stop recording it means currently it is in the recording mode now let me click here in the a1 cell then write here apple then press enter now this action is recorded to stop the recording simply click on stop recording button now to see the recorded macro you have to click on this macros button where you have this abc macro and you see the description of the macro here test macro at the right side of macro window you can see these buttons like run step into edit delete and options the run button is used to play this macro or to run this macro if you click on the run button it will automatically repeat the action here if you click on step into it will execute the action step by step if you click on edit you can edit the recorded macro use this delete button to delete this macro if you click on the options here you can see the macro name is given as abc the shortcut key assigned for this macro was control plus shift plus q and the description is test macro now let me close this 
and delete this text from here go to macros then if i click on the edit here you can see the action is recorded as a programming language this sob refers to sob procedure and here you can see the name of the macro is given as abc macro description is given as test macro the keyboard shortcut is given as control plus shift plus q these are the properties of the macro and from here the actual action is recorded range a1 dot select means first of all the cell a1 is selected then the second line of code is active cell dot formula r1c1 is equal to apple this is writing the text apple here in the first cell then the third line of code is range a2 dot select after writing apple in the cell a1 then the a2 cell is selected at the end of the code you see end sob it means end of the sob procedure so this is the programming language of the recorded action let me close this then go to macros again now if you click on run button here you see the apple is written in the a1 cell to edit the macro you can go to macros click on this edit option then here let me change this to another text that is vba close this go to macros now if i run this here you see vba is written in the cell a1 let me delete this again now you can execute the macro by using the shortcut key as well the shortcut key assigned was control plus shift plus q let me press control shift q in the keyboard and here you see the code is executed which has written the text vva in cell a1 so this is a very basic example of how we can record and run the macro in excel let's look into another example for that let me click on this record macro again the name i'll give sales report and here while writing the macro name don't include any space if you want to separate two words then you can use the underscore symbol here let me put here sales underscore report in the shortcut key i'm not going to give anything store macro in this workbook is okay in the description i'll write creates sales report now click on ok the macro recording has already started now i'll click on this c4 cell then put here product name below it i'll write some products like television fan heater and washing machine in this cell i'll write store a in this cell i'll write store b in this cell i'll write store c then i'll increase the column width select the headers then apply here the color fill then select this apply the border now all the things i did here is recorded click on stop recording now click on the macros here you see the sales report macro is already there if you click on edit here you see all the process or steps i did to create that sales reporting format is recorded as a programming language close this vva window now let me delete this from here then go to macros select this sales report macro then hit on this run button here you see the report is generated so in this way we can record and run the macro to do the repetitive task now let's look into what is this use of relative reference if you see in the developer tab in the code section below record macro there is a option that is use relative reference 
to understand this option first of all let's look here let me click on this cell then go to macros select this sales report macro then click and run the format is generated here in this fixed location which is from c42 f8 if i want to generate this report in this cell go to macro and run it again the format is created here only so if we don't select this use relative reference option the macro will run at the fixed position only if i create here a new sheet then go to macros and run this again this is created in the fixed position of the sheet which is from c42 f8 so in case if you want to create the report in different location then you have to select this use relative reference this is like the absolute and relative reference that we use in formula while writing excel formulas if we make the cell reference absolute by applying dollar symbols then the cell will be fixed if we don't apply dollar symbol then the cell will be relative here in bva2 if we select the relative reference then we can run the code at any location for this let me click here in this cell then click on use relative reference option then start recording the macro the macro name is for example daily sales report then click on ok now let me create here a sales report format now i created this daily sales report format then go to developer and click on stop recording now in case you have selected this use relative reference while recording the macro now this report format will be created at any location suppose that if you want to create this daily sales report here in this g12 cell then you can click on this cell click on macros select this daily sales report macro then click on run and here you see this reporting format is created here in this location if i go to sheet number two select this cell here then click on macros select the daily sales report macro click and run now this reporting format is created here in this location so this is what happens when we select this relative reference option the next is running the recorded macro which we already covered editing the macro is also already covered next is assigning macros to button and toolbar we can assign the macro to different buttons let me go here in the sheet one then create here a button by clicking on the insert tab illustrations shapes let me draw this shape here then here let me write the text that is create daily sales format in this way we can create the buttons let me increase the size of it now i can assign the macro in this button for that right click on this button click on assign macro then select this daily sales report macro you can select any other macro then click on ok now you can click on this button to execute or run the code let me select here in this cell then click on this button now you see this is created here similarly if i click on this then click on this button here you see the reporting format is created similarly we can put the macro here in toolbar as well as i show you in the chapter one in the home tab there is a button for running the macro which is make format so to create a button here to run the macro click on the file tab click on options click on customize ribbon then here in this choose command from option click on this drop down then choose this macros option here you can see the macros list 
let me select this daily sales report macro then i want to add this macro here in the my tool group so select this my tool group then click on add now here you see the daily sales report macro is added you can create here a button for, for that click on rename then here you can choose any icon for example let me click on this icon then click on ok again click on ok and here you see in the my tools group the daily sales report macro is added now if you click on this macro the task will be automatically done that is creating this sales reporting format let me create here a new sheet click on this cell then click on this daily sales report macro and here you see the format is automatically generated so this is all about recording macro running macro editing the recorded macro use of relative reference and assigning macro to buttons and toolbar in the next chapter we will learn the user interface of visual basic for applications thank you so much for watching this video see you in next chapter